Hi there, I'm Allie. Welcome to my channel. What we're going to be doing today is styling a curly undercut. Um, I have an undercut and my hair is quite curly and um, I hear from a lot of people who are interested in having an undercut but who don't know how to do it and I hear from people who have curly hair who are worried that it's not going to work for them and it'll totally work for you. It just take some management. So um, I'm going to be trying three relatively simple styles today. These are my, um, sometimes they're my going out dressing up styles, sometimes they're my going to work styles, and I'll let you know what each one is. Um, but all you're going to need are some bobby pins, some claw clips, and some ouchless rubber bands, because if you've got curly hair, very likely, even though you've shaved two-thirds of your head, you still have a full fucking ponytail. Um, so what I'm going to start with first is my um, big puffy going out style. Um, and also, you know, I didn't say that you needed a brush because I don't brush my hair because it's curly and curly hair people know that shit don't work. So um, this is kind of a pompadour thing, um, pompadour, pompadour ponytail thing. And um, yeah, let's just get started. What I do is I pull everything over to one side and start twisting up and then I bump it. You guys know how to do the bumpy thing, right? You just twist and press up. I can show you again in a second. And you take your bobby pins and bobby pins go bumpy side down, especially in curly hair. <laughs> Um, and that helps them hold in place better. And I have not made these sticky bobby pins, but if you have very fine hair, what you can also do is cover your bobby pins in a little bit of hairspray, and that'll help them stick better. So then using that same twisting motion, once you've pushed your bump over, you gather the rest of your hair, being careful not to add too much of a bump, and lift it into a high ponytail. Uh, 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 and push it forward. So then you can kind of come in and see if you need any adjustments. I'm going to add one more bobby pin in order to give this the texture that I want. There you go. And that is an easy, fast, kind of fun, sort of messy, rockabilly, gothabilly style thing that you can do with curly hair to let people see the nice shaped sides and have it be all pretty and fancy and everything. If you want to do this a little bit smoother, you can always add hairspray or brush as you go, um, putting a little bit of hairspray on a toothbrush and kind of smoothing it up will uh, keep your flyaways from being too noticeable, but that's an easy way to do something. Now, this is not a very stable style. This won't hold up for hours and hours and hours because it's only, what, three bobby pins and a ponytail holder? Um, so you can always make a point of adding more bobby pins or hairspray as you go in order to get that going. So, okay, time to take this down. Okay, that's down. So we're back to uh, styling. Also, by the way, I'm just going to point out, I don't wear my hair like this much, but I should because, uh, that feels fancy. That feels nice. That feels summery, beachy. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is one of my very standard, I'm going to work and don't want to be extreme styles. It's um, just sort of twisty victory roll kind of thing. So uh, let's get started. You're gonna do, um, uh, which side do I want my part to be on? Um, you're gonna do an off-center part and this is another style that involves twisting. Actually, all three of these styles involve twisting because that's the best way for me to control the curly hair. So I'm going to, this takes a little bit of finesse, sorry. It, you gotta twist in the direction that you want your hair to kind of poof up in. So, and this is the same sort of thing as twisting along the sides for the pompadour. You twist and then you press it forward in order to get this little bump going here. So do that. Clip. Hold in place with a clip. You can also bobby pin these. 
And even though that's a tiny little twisty, I don't think that clip is actually big enough to hold it on its own. So let's throw in a bobby pin for a good measure. Okay, release and it shouldn't fall down, so I've still got my little bumpy there. Ooh. So, and yeah, same thing on this side. Twist, and you want to make sure that you've, get, you've got it placed properly so that when you push it forward, your bump is going where you want it to. There we go. And I'm going to use a bigger clip for this one because this is the bigger side. So, you can either leave it like that and leave your hair down, but I tend to like having my hair off my neck, so I pull it up into, you can also, there are a couple things you can do with this. Um, pull it up into a relatively loose ponytail. Flip it through itself. And then I'm gonna take the big clip out, put a bobby pin in, in its place, And this is my going out for dinner with my parents, going to work, being a relatively conservative and normal human being hairstyle. This is something that I would wear with a blazer, say. So um, that's also very simple and same as the other one. You can add more bobby pins for greater security. You can swap out your clips for bobby pins if you don't want to see them. You can use hairspray on a toothbrush to smooth it down. There are lots of ways that you can make sure that this stays firmer and more in place. I know with my hair, this particular thing would stay in place for hours. So, okay, time to uh, go back to normal. So, and we're back. All right, so it also got a little hot in here, so my <laughs> thermal came off, and uh, we're gonna do this last style. <sighs> Maybe two more styles, I don't quite know. I don't know yet. Um, but this is my going to a metal show style. Um, this is what I do when I'm going someplace where I'm going to be headbanging and I don't want my hair sticking to my face. So this is very secure um, and twisty. <laughs> Go figure. Um, so for this I'm going to need two clips and actually it also helps to have... Uh, where are they? Little um, barrettes to hold things stable while you're doing this. And maybe it'll leave in place if you've got a decorative barrette that you like. These are little polka dot ones, maybe I'll leave them in place. Okay, so you have to separate your hair for this style, and so I guess you're gonna also need a big clip. Um, this involves three parts. So come find the edges of your undercut, and this is one that is very specifically for an undercut and styled differently because it's an undercut. So come find the edges of your undercut and then twist the remainder of the hair out of the way. And what this is, is gonna be an over and under twisty thing on two sides. So this is sort of like a doing a French twist. So you twist the hair as you go and you add more as you turn your head. didn't start early enough, so you've got to check your progress. Helps to start with really fine little tiny bits of hair up front, but I like seeing the twisties in the front. I want to see that I've done my hair, not just pull it out of the way. So that's why you can come back and do over. And again, just add more to the twist. You add to the bottom strand only. Um, so don't pull from the top and add to the top, add to the bottom strand only. Now I can see the twisties in the front, and that's what I want. When you get to the back of your head, and instead of using your two twisties, separate into three strands and braid the rest. So, okay, that's one side done. Now for the other. Do the same, same process as before. Make sure not to get the center hair mixed up with the hair that you just did your twisties on. Come find the edge of your undercut and then separate out a center part that's going to get braided into everything. So separate and then twist up and out of the way. 
and then clip out of the way. So okay, we're gonna try to do this right the first time. Because I do screw this up a fair amount. Okay, so start up front. And remember you're adding only to the bottom. I've, I usually have to redo the second side of my hair. strand. Take down your center twist and braid all three together. Wrap your ponytail holder around it and what I actually do on these ones instead of letting it hang free is I just do it in a little ball like that because this is again my headbanging hairstyle. So make sure that you don't have any little bumpies and then you can use your barrettes to pin it up nicely to make sure that this is going to stay far, far out of the way. So this is how I go to shows. It's not the cleanest, shiniest, prettiest haircut. It is a, or a hairstyle. It is a cute shit out of my face but still be decorative and pretty hairstyle. And I do really like the way the little twisties look on the side. So now we're gonna get experimental. I've never actually done this, but we're gonna go back to normal. All right, we are back to my normal hair. Normal. And uh, what I'm gonna actually try to do is do a complete over the side twisty out of the face style. I think I'm just gonna use bobby pins for this and I think I'm gonna try to divide it into four parts and do four twists. So, uh, do a part across the crown and clip the rest of the hair out of the way and then starting from the side that I've pulled the hair over on I'm gonna twist forward okay so it's one twist forward and I think we're gonna try clips because I'm making this up as I go along. So, okay, that's one twist forward. Now I'm going to take the clips out of the other two sections. It works better if you can see me. And I guess this is just going to be kind of like a segmented side braid, really. Um, and I'm going to try to train it toward the back a little. We're gonna keep this one in. All right. Got a nice little separated braid. It's all pulled neatly over to the side. If you wanted to do some plain up with bobby pins, you totally could. But this is really nice, actually. This is keeping a lot of hair off of my head. I'll have to experiment with getting twisties to be more distinct, but maybe that's not a thing to do on camera. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing more. And uh, Comment with what you want to do with your curly undercut, or if you want an undercut, because they're fun as fuck. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Goodbye.